Facebook Live now. Hello. Nobody's here. Facebook. Hold on. You guys. Trying. It worked earlier. Facebook Live. Hi, Michael Bartoloni. Michael Bartoloni. Michael Bartoloni. Facebook Live. That's where I am now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, Cheryl. It was working. Well, now because I'm on my phone. Thank you, Michael. I was on my phone, but I have everything plugged in and something's malfunctioning. But I had, it, it was all ready earlier. Ghost in the machine. And now some of you still are not here. And I don't know what to tell you. Don't know what to say. Let me see. Let me just do this and say, what's going on? Yep, I'm back in the kitchen. She's back in the kitchen again. Hey, Lisa, ma'am, Mina. Loud and clear. Well, I went on from, um, I went on Facebook uh, from my um, laptop. But for some reason, it's not working. Let me just let everybody know. I think I did. On Facebook Live. Facebook. Ah! <laughs> Live. So over here, it's too bad the closed captioning is not working because that would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Now, wouldn't that be fun? So that's so there are still people watching over on Facebook Live. And Bonnie Barker made it. Mama Grace made it. And they're still there. There's still five of you there. So let me just print it again. Facebook L-I-V-E. Yeah, because I'm on a whole different platform than I was a minute ago. That's why you can hear me. I'm not on my laptop anymore. I'm on my phone. I tried. I tried. I tried. And I can't tell where. Anyway, so I was just talking with Cheryl. Cheryl who worked, who works. Ah, it's not working. Anyway, I'm here. And some of you are still watching on the other one, and it's kind of fun to watch. We'll see what happens. Machiko Shimada. Yeah, nobody could hear. For some reason, it didn't work. But it's working now, and I'm here in the kitchen. Got the red light happening. Got the air conditioning cranking. It's My phone may still um, decide to turn off tonight because it might overheat. That's what happened. For reals, for reals, for reals. So how is everybody doing tonight? It is Wednesday, June 1, 5, June 15 in the Wednesday of 2021. Yep, because you're on a whole different page. You're on my Facebook Live page now instead of my other one that people are still going to, which is kind of fun. No sound. Yes, I know. Okay. No sound, so we are, yeah, Silent Rich is even equally as charming. <laughs> Mamie. Hey Mamie, come, come to Three Oaks this weekend. I, I'm not as sarcastic as you are, Rich, but I can be. I really can be. I, I really strive not to be. 
Rich knows he's there. He's here. <laughs> Probably. Probably. But Julie, Lou, Machiko, Shimada, Bonnie Barker, Rich, Carl, Melanie, Cheryl, William D. Yeah. No, Mom, you're in the right place. You're totally, totally in the right place. Anybody eating, drinking anything fun tonight? I had some water and some red pepper hummus with red peppers on a cassava tortilla with greens. 11, 11 with Jenna. Oh, check it out. Look what I can do. When there are 11 people here, I can still go. 11, 11 with Jenna. again it's so cool because there's 10 now hi mom yeah well because you're I'll explain it one more time I started the show out on Facebook on the page and then on the zoom page and now I went to Facebook live on my phone and that's why you're able to hear me because you're here we'll be at buttermilk jamboree Fun! Hello, tie-dye patty, tie-dye patty. I need some tie-dye bad. I need some tie-dye bad, girl. It's funny. Yep. Yep, we are there. We are on Facebook Live. Go to the other page. Because we're going to do the dance again. Ooh, I did that too today. Was that yesterday? Why won't it play? Oh, there's 10 anyway. It doesn't matter. Whoa, something crazy's going on. Do you hear that? Claudia, what's happening, girl? I'm going to end this one. End meeting for all. Yeah, do you hear that crazy sound? There So yeah, I'm just going to do a short show tonight, especially now because I don't know why the sound is not working and I was planning on being there. And I know many of you want to hear the story of our flight last night. Um, do you want me to tell you the story? Because I can. The flight had its own challenges, just like every flight does, right? But then we landed. I'm, I'm, I'm telling the story? You do. You want to hear it. Julie Luce wants to hear it. Okay. So the flight had its own challenges. We were in the bulkhead, so we were right in the front row. The front. First of all, I went through TSA pre and clear so I could meet Grace on the other side. So I meet, I'm waiting for Grace, and, I'm, and Lisa's with her. Lisa's with her getting her stuff through. I'm on the other side waiting for her. She's not there. I wait about 15 minutes and I think, man, she must have gotten through really fast, so I better race to the gate. So I race to the gate and she's still not there. Or she's not there, I'm there, she's not there. So all of a sudden I get a phone call from a 510 that I didn't, under, I didn't know, but I answered it. And it was the um, wheelchair young man that was helping her. And he said, hold on a second. And I said, Grace, she goes, where are you? I go, I'm at the gate and I'm waiting for you. And we're, we're boarding in about nine minutes. Where are you? Well, they, they made me take everything out of my bag. They took everything out of her bag, ran it through, made her take everything out of it again. They took it out. I'm not saying they made her do it. They took everything out a second time. Yay! She can hear and see. And ran it through again. 
then they had to pack it all up because, you know, she's Mama Grace and she doesn't have whatever they thought she had in her bag. And she was on her way. So she gets there, we get in the bulkhead, we're cool. We sit down, we're good. Um, a, let's just put it this way, a very excitable child in the middle seat of which I was sitting in behind me with parents who didn't care. So hitting the seat, knocking the seat, doing stuff with the seat, and the parents are watching a movie, reading a book, and I'm turning around going, okay, can't say anything. Then the cool thing on the plane, all of a sudden Grace goes, look out the window. And it looked like the sun was rising, but it was the moon rising and it looked like it was on fire. It was the most awesome thing. I tried to take a photo, I couldn't, it was incredible. And we watched the, this strawberry, but it wasn't strawberry, this was more, it looked like that, rising. And then it became the full moon, beautiful white moon. We're sitting there, wow, this is incredible. And then we land. We land in Oakland. And she had a wheelchair on the way in, which, you know, she's going to have a wheelchair on the way out. And we wait. And we kept waiting. Till everybody was off the plane. No wheelchairs. Nobody. And then she goes, yeah, a lot of times people request a wheelchair so that they can get off faster, but then they just blow it off. I go, and she said there were four people that requested wheelchairs for this flight, but there were no wheelchairs at all. So we waited waited a little bit longer. Hey, can you call them again to say that we really need a wheelchair here, please? I've called. Okay, then the second crew comes on and a snarky man who was on the crew overhears what we're talking about and says something to her about us. Well, they should have gotten off. And I go, excuse me? And he goes, I'm talking to her. I said, this is about us. And he goes, he goes, yeah, but when she's gone, you're gonna have to deal with me. And I said, whatever. And he goes, I hope they never come and pick her up. Flight attendant says that to me about my mom, my 91 year old mom. I hope they never come and pick her up. Dave Love, you didn't know what you were in for. So we wait 45 minutes on the plane after it is landed and people are getting ready to come back on for the next flight. We're land we landed in Chicago. It's now about 12, 15, 12, 20. We're waiting. Finally, the other flight crew comes on and they go, well, what if one of us gets you a wheelchair? that'd be great. Perfect. See, I couldn't get off because if I got off, I couldn't get back on to help my mom and I wasn't going to leave her on the, the plane. So I stayed there. Plus I had two carry on bags and two rollers. So there was, it was impossible for me to even push the wheelchair if I had a wheelchair. Oh, oh, and I forgot this one. When we were getting on the plane, they had her gate, gate check, gate check, her walker, which means when you get off the plane, you'll pick up the walker right there instead of getting it down below in baggage. Okay. So flight attendant runs off, goes to get a wheelchair. I proceed to get off the plane so I could get our walker which wasn't there, and the two, four bags, so I could help them help her. Well, they wouldn't let me get back on the plane then. So two women were like, we'll help your mom. Nope, sweetie, go for it. 
I go, is there anybody that I can talk to about this? Because 40 minutes to wait while everybody's going by, nobody has on masks, we're getting exposed to who knows what. They finally get her on the wheelchair. I walk off first and there's pandemonium in, at the, it's like gate 26 at Midway. There's 300 people all hanging out, waiting for their flight. Well, because we were still there on the plane, they couldn't leave. Except I found out later that there was no pilot to pilot the plane, so they canceled that flight. I'll tell you how I know that in a minute. So they push her off the plane and then leave her. They, they park her right here amongst about, hello, Anne-Marie Prince. Wow. Hi, Anne-Marie Prince. Wow. Like 10 feet from the door where there's uh, these 300 plus people waiting and leave us there with nobody to push us to baggage where our suitcases were where nobody was to help us get out to the street to get picked up. So I'm like, can anybody please help us get to the baggage? Please, can anyone help us? People could have cared less. Flight attendants were like, well, I could do it, but I have my bag and I can't. And I'm, I go, can you please call a wheelchair person for me, please. I look over out of the corner of my eye and I see four of these wheelchair kids, because they're kids, looking on their phones going, ha 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 ha. And I run over, I'm like, you guys, I, I need one of you to help me push my mom over. And, um, you know, I just need to be safe with her. You know, we got our masks on. Can you wear a mask? I ain't wearing no fucking mask. Okay. I wish you'd wear a mask because I'm trying. I don't need to wear no goddamn fucking mask. Okay. So we're pushing. He's pushing. I'm pulling all our bags. And then he just looked at me and said something really, really snarky. And I go, do you... I go, why are you talking to me like this? And he goes, you know what? I hope you get fucking COVID and die. Okay, well, I hope you do too then. Because he walked away, left us in the middle of Midway Airport with nobody. The place was closing down because it was now about mm, 1240. Our driver, friend is waiting outside for us. Leave us stranded. And then I go, can anybody please help my mom and I? Please, anybody? And this brother comes up with the coolest hair, the coolest, coolest hair and the coolest pink shirt. And he goes, what do you, what do you and your mama need? I'll help you. I said, we need to get the baggage. He goes, I'll push you as far as I can. My wife and I are waiting our flight just got, I was being nice, snarky. Our flight just got canceled and my wife is over there. Love bucks, love bucks. I'm not done yet. Come on, Anne Marie, stay with me. So he pushes Grace, big old brother. I'm like, dude, he's like, yeah, I lived in Oakland. I'm like, yeah, I lived in, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all Oakland, all five, 10 and out and shit. He pushes me as far as he can. And then the security guard said, you know, if you keep going, because he goes, I'm going to help this woman get to baggage. He goes, if you keep going, you got to go back through security. And I go, brother, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'll, so she helps me find another pusher, another young man pusher. He comes up. He pushes us down to our bags. Now, now you have to remember, it's now been an hour since we've been off the flight. Oh, sorry. Since the plane landed. It's now... 12.50 a.m. We get to the baggage and it's empty. And I think it's empty because our bags must be over in that. Our bags 
okay, here, I have an idea. Let's walk my mom out to where our driver is and then I'll go and deal with the bags in the little Southwest, you know, the office on the side where they have all the bags. Okay. But I had three bags, so I still needed help. So as I'm walking out with this kid and my mom, the pusher and my mom, he pushes her in the wheelchair out to where Bill's going to pick us up. It's 90 degrees out. It's hot. It's, you know, Chicago at 1 a.m. So hot, so humid. And Bill is at the cell phone lot, so it was going to take him a while to get there. So I say, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go in and get the luggage. And then she asks the young man, would you help my daughter get her bags? Sure. Okay, cool. Cool. So I go in to the office. I said, hi, sorry, we're late. You know, we were on this flight and they didn't come and this thing happened. So I'm sure my luggage is back here somewhere. Here's our thing. Oh, that's on carousel seven. Yeah, it, there's... That hasn't come in yet. What? Yeah, that that those suitcases that the, they haven't been unloaded yet from the plane. But it's been an hour. Okay. Well, the guy, the pusher kid, has already disappeared. Never saw him again. So I run out to tell Grace, who's still waiting for our ride to come, because there's people everywhere. I go and she's sitting there you know god bless you mama grace you're the like like you're my saint if there ever was one that i got to meet it's you it's just sitting there waiting in this heat and exhaust and but with with our bags our carry-on bags and finally bill comes up and i go bill here's the deal let's load up what we have i'm gonna go in and get our bags and the walker No bags. Then it started to get cray. Then people started hour and a half. Oh, that other flight that they were going to turn around and go back to Oakland was canceled, which is for some reason why they didn't want to take the bags off the plane. I don't know why they didn't take the bags off the plane, but they didn't. One fifteen. We were there for two hours and 15 minutes. Then they said, oh, it's been moved to Carousel 5. But then it got moved back to Carousel 7. And I had gone in and said, I also had a, a walker that I gate checked. And here's the Lisa, you know, the little thing. Here's the thing. Yeah, it says gate check. Well, it's probably an oversized. Okay. So I go over to oversized because my bags still haven't come through. You like my... So I go over to the oversize, there's nothing. Then a guy goes in and climbs in. He's like, I gotta get my kid's stroller. So he goes inside the cave of the oversize and pulls out his stroller and then everything starts moving because it was stuck. Oversize, not there. I go back, it's not there. And they said, well, we'll give you a loaner. I said, it's, just, it's a walker. Yeah, we'll give you a loaner. Hold on. Remember on uh, the Fockers when she's typing away and he's standing there freaking out? There are no loaner walkers. Okay. I'm just going to go over there. Okay, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Oh, and the reason why people have asked me, did you video any of this? No, because my phone was dead because this Southwest airline flight didn't have charging stations in the plane. So I didn't get to videotape the flight attendants on Southwest Airlines or the two young men, the pushers that dumped us off. Um, so then it was, we got, we, we landed at 11.40 and our st my stuff the our luggage started coming out at 130 145 
I got our luggage at 1.45. We got in the car and started driving two hours back to St. Joe. So yes, I did get the walker. I did get the three pieces of luggage. And then we were driving and we hit an animal. So now the bumper is like half torn off on the car. And um, I think what Southwest Airlines did to my mom as a 91 year old person is beyond incompetent and um, I was going to call them today, but I was so tired, but we got home at 5.30 in the morning and then we both started opening up our mail because that's what you do when you get home from a flight or from a trip you haven't been anywhere for two months, you start opening your mail at, two, at five o'clock in the morning. So then the sun came up and I thought better than to, I thought I'd give them a day because I would not be as calm as I am right now telling you the story. Had I not been there, and she would have been on the flight alone for 40 minutes. It, I just couldn't even, it is, it's reprehensible. And they need to be, they need to know what happened. And now that I've told the story, I can tell it much clearer. And if anybody knows anyone from Southwest Airlines, they will be hearing from me tomorrow and my lawyer. And not even a, can we get you a glass of water? Can, are you okay? Can we get you anything at all? No, let's get, yeah, let's just sit here. And then when they wheeled her off and left us at the gate, I was just, I will, but I knew not to do it today because I would not have gotten, I guess, I guess you were my um, testing ground to see if I could actually tell the story without totally freaking out. Cause I was, I wasn't freaking out last night, but I was pissed and I was really just, without repeating any of the story at all, because I will do that at this point, but I'm not going to. Maybe send this in this video retelling. I don't know how to do that, Ellen. But I thought about it today. I was like, do I go on TikTok and tell them what they did to my 91-year-old mother? My disabled 90, I'm sorry, mom, you're disabled. 91-year-old mother on Southwest Airlines, you left her on a plane for 40 minutes? Yeah, I do, Dave. Maybe I need you to sit there with me on the phone tomorrow because I really, had I done it today, I would have probably lost it and not gotten anywhere. But I'm talking, I want to talk to the president, El Presidente of Southwest Airlines, Patty Loman, Patty Loman, Patty, Patty Loman, Patty Loman, Patty. Thank you for last night. Very much. Well, how about I ask all of you? Some of you, if you feel like it, if you want to share. You know what? This candle is really hot. I'm like sitting here sweating now going, why is it so hot? Why is it so hot here? Someone called it Alabama hot today. It's Alabama hot here. If you guys don't mind, share it on your page. It'll all be effective. Please share it. Yeah. Southwest Airlines. Yeah. So, and then the, the, I guess it was a, um, what was the animal that got hit? Animal. Yeah. I mean, do I, do you think I tell them? If you don't do anything, I'm going to go on social media and I'm going to tell my 15 friends to share it. But I could go on TikTok and TikTok and tell this whole story. I'll go on my, um, in my IG. IG live. I like Southwest Airlines. I liked Southwest Airlines until last night. Oh, I mean this morning. 
I mean, people were standing there going, we were looking at each other going, are you serious? How long have you? Yeah, it's been two hours. Two hours we sat there for our luggage. And Grace sat out in the car. So 40 minutes in the airplane, 20 minutes outside the airplane, and then the two pushers. Yeah. We were there three hours. Do I have a lawyer that can call for me? Yeah, I do. Do you? I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a couple of ways to, to and I'm not trying to. I'm going to get some money out of this. They need to know what the hell happened. Well, this airline, Southwest, does give. They care, and if they and if when they hear the story, they'll care care. must be severely understaffed. There were four, it, this not having to do with Southwest at all, there were four of those couriers standing five minutes away from where we were, William. They weren't understaffed. They were all sitting there on their phones laughing at something. And then I saw four more later. They're not understaffed. They don't wanna work. And they wanted to leave my mother for 40 minutes on the plane. Not saying they wanted to, but they did. Well, it's my first night back. And Dave Love, I just saw I just saw what you sent in Messenger. Tomorrow morning, I want to be, I'll be back in the kitchen, but I think I'm going to be Facebook Live again because I can't figure out the sound. So if anybody does know anyone at Southwest Airlines, oh, I know someone. I'm going to share this on her page. Right, Melanie? I mean, the two hours waiting for our, for our luggage was an absolute total drag. The flight dealing with the, the behavior of the child behind me completely is parents' fault. Them letting my mom sit on the plane without a, can, I have, can we have some water? The, the, pl the plane's not, you know, we're not, we're not full. Can you go out and get her a glass of water, please, anybody? Nothing, nothing. But I do know one person at Southwest Airlines. I just remembered we went to high school together. But feel free, share and share alike. Tomorrow morning, Michael Keel will be here. Tomorrow night, I don't know. Friday morning, we'll be doing another Mondo memory. Mondo's, Mondo is actually doing some, some really beautiful movement the last few days. He's been moved to um, a boarding care away from, um, in Sherman Oaks, California. His brothers are all in town as of tonight. Brothers, wives, girlfriends, nieces, they're all going to um, a concert tomorrow night. And they were originally going to all go together. Hello, Charles Black. Southworst. <laughs> I'm an Alaska girl. I was a Virgin Airlines girl. I was a, a United with Lisa. Lisa was 1K with United forever. We used to fly bloop, doo, 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 all the time. I went to Virgin. Virgin was the bomb. Then they closed. I went to Alaska. Dragged my nails across to get to Alaska. But I did it. But this flight worked. Snowy is doing okay. Snowy has had... So Snowy's doing all right now and the brothers are the siblings of Armando are there most of the time the last couple of days Carlos has been there um, last week we were all we were gonna go down there together and then um, Carlos went in and he is whispering and his eyes are have more movement and is showing improvement total miracle Total, total miracle. It's not about getting a lawyer. It's a lawyer to make the phone call. It's not about, I'm going to hire a lawyer. I have a lawyer. I have a good friend. Yeah. So, whatever, however you believe, I believe that there was a miracle 
and there is a miracle happening with Armando. And when I asked him if he was ready to do, do the work, and he squeezed my hand, I said, squeeze my hand, and he squeezed my hand. I go, squeeze it really hard, really, really hard. And he went, and squeezed my hand. And I went, okay, I love you, my cousin. And he said, I love you, my cousin. There was my miracle right there. And then I got miracled at the dead show the other night twice. I got it miracled and then I got miracled in the VIP. And then I got miracled with Lisa. Lisa, Gracie, Laura, Laura miracled. We had lunch, we had the best Thai food yesterday in Oakland. Hello, Stacy. do you know anyone that works at Southwest Airlines? If anyone knows anyone at Southwest Airlines, please share this post tonight. I had a really not great experience last night on Southwest Airlines and off Southwest Airlines and waiting on Southwest Airlines luggage carousel for two hours. Oh, what's it called that we hit? Not a muskrat, some kind of animal. We hit it. Really loud noise. So yes, if you know anyone, Southwest Airlines, share that. Um, tomorrow morning, Michael Keel. You guys, I'm I'm here every day, every night. I come on, hang out with me. I know there are people that are waiting for a Corona Roki, and people are touring. Marion Meadows is playing tonight in Detroit. Had I been here, the chair people are employed by the airport, but not by Southwest. Yeah, they're their own company. That's true. But had I gotten, no, thank God. Don't have Lillian with me. Um, Lillian is with Lisa and Katie. She's on the ranch. She's doing her, she's doing her work on the ranch with Katie and Lisa. And she loves being at the ranch. And there's going to be some stuff going on here, more painting, some um, building of shelves and stuff here. And it was just better that she's with them. Lisa, Mamina. Yeah. And then I'll go get her. She's, she's at camp. Lillian's at camp. She goes out and feeds the horses with Katie and hangs out with Gracie, the little cat. And she's going to miss, she misses Lil, Lee, or Gracie, Mama Grace for sure but that was just better for her. And plus now, it's so hot here, she would be, it's, it is, it's Alabama hot. Sleepaway camp, she's at sleepaway camp mm -hmm. with the horses. She's at equine camp. Hey, neighbor, I just told the whole Southwest story. So I'm asking people to share this on their page and if they know anyone at Southwest Airlines, Good night. Great to see you too, Stacy. Neighbor, I just documented my first the, uh, telling of the story. Stacy, damn, thank you. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. And Lillian was with Bonnie yesterday. Lillian's getting Reiki with Bonnie and hanging out in the trailer and cool and everybody. And I don't know if there have been any other earthquakes, but. There were, in Lakeport alone, in the last three days, there have been like eight earthquakes. And I felt one of them, and I know Bonnie did too. Man, that was loud. I think that's the loudest earthquake I've ever heard. Not a long earthquake, but long, loud, loud, loud earthquake. You'll watch the show again. Your show last night? Oh, your show last night. Patty Loman, Patty Loman, Patty, Patty Loman, Patty Loman, Patty, Patty. Thank you very much. That was great. Yeah, tonight's show. You did too, Mama. What? What did I just say? I forgot what I said. I don't know what I said. I did watch a movie yesterday, and I have no idea what it was. Oh, it was this movie. Oh, you missed the beginning of tonight. Oh, yeah. Watch the show tonight. 
you'll be glad you did. I'm really proud of myself. I didn't really cry. I was so mad last night. I couldn't believe it. Especially when he said, I hope they never come for her. What? What? Who says that? Yeah, oh, Gracie felt the earthquake. Felt it, heard it, loud. 3.3. Yeah, watch the show, share the show. Oh, I know. Yellowstone River. Oh, it's so sad. Did you see the houses just collapse into the river? Oh my goodness. I've never been there. Have you guys been there? So sad, those poor people. Ugh. I mean, those poor people everywhere, right? I, I can't even... I mean, if, if you even are saying you're, I can't, how, how we can ever get over what has been happening. Can't, done. We're different people now. Our cells have changed. And I know, you know, we're home, we're safe, we're good. Muskrat. Lots of people were trapped. Oh, in the Yellowstone. Muskrat, that's what we hit last night. That muskrat, man, just ripped up. I'm like, what the? Four o'clock in the morning and we hit a muskrat on the freeway. Sorry, Mr. Muskrat. Could have been a woman. Sorry, Miss. Sorry, they. They are who they are. People are trapped in Yellowstone or at Midway last night. Woodchuck. <laughs> hey, Patty, Patty. Can't wait for the peaches. Patty, Patty's peaches, tie-dye Patty peaches. Patty, where will you be, um, where, right, Sam or Sam? Yellowstone, people are trapped? I don't know about that. I kind of stepped away from the news today. Um, Patty, Hausman, Patricia, where will you be selling your tie-dye? Next, do tell. And when are the peaches ready? Is that August? I'll be there. I'll be there. Were we tripping at the show? Rich, were we tripping at the show the other night? We were just tripping on the groove. Shade down street. No, we were tripping. We were just tripping on the vibes, brother. We had Bill Walton, Bill and Luke Walton, three rows ahead, which was perfect. Oh, it's terrible. Dead and Company. They were not terrible. I'm talking about Yellowstone. July 23rd, Domain, Berry, and Cellars. Okay, can I come over before to see what you have? She's good. If you need, need tie-dye, Patricia Hostman. Hey, John DeFazio, what's happening, brother? Jeff was a warrior. Ooh, I had cherries in Lakeport this weekend. Jeff was, he was a war, he was a grateful warrior because he found that shirt. That's a cool shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been doing really well, John. How are you? Patty, we got two, I can't call you Patricia, tie-dye Patty, and Patty Loman, tie-dye Patty. No, there's only one Patty Loman. So this weekend, Saturday night, 6.30, Three Oaks, Michigan, Dan Geib and Jenna May, I unfriended you. No, I didn't unfriend you. I don't unfriend anyone. I block people. I snooze people. But I don't unfriend anyway. Friend me back. That's that's a hack. Did not. Would never. John DeFazio, why in the world would anyone unfriend you anyway? That this Saturday night, Dan Geib, Jenna Mamina. First time and I think I bet it's been five years since we've performed together. And we are performing the songs of our dear sister in music and in life, Bev Hahn, who wrote some of the most incredible music and I was part of did Bill 
pick you up. Bill, different Bill. Bill Dietrich picked us up. Patty of many colors. I love that. No, Bill Dietrich, who's on the show sometimes, but usually is only on the phone because he gets um, he gets thrown in jail quite a bit on Facebook. For good reason. I mean, for good reasons. But, yeah, he gets thrown in jail sometimes. Not in real life. He's a great driver until he hit the muskrat or whatever that was. Loud. And then a friend of mine looked, he looked at the car today and he goes, I said, wouldn't there be blood or something? if you?" Well, they have a lot of fat. And they don't really, he probably didn't even really die. Like, he was going 80. Our car weighed a ton because we had all our luggage in it. Baggage, lots of baggage. Um, anyway, he said, yeah. He looked at it again. Yeah, I see some hair. I see some hair. Like, oh, thanks. So we have our electrical all done now. I have my own electric box up here. Gracie has her own and the basement has its own. Yay. And Tim Spitali, Patty's cousin. I think of him as your nephew, but Patty's cousin, Tim Spitali, has an air conditioning, heating and air conditioning company. And he was across the alley today, came right over, boom, fixed it, air conditioning. So that's where we will be hanging out tomorrow. You did not. Oh, I know. You know what, Carl? He was in such a chill place. But yeah, tell everyone the muskrat hit you or Peter might go, oh, right. I know. I didn't even see it. I just heard it. <laughs> the other bill. Yeah, not, not it, it is Bill D, but it's not William D. It's Bill Dietrich. Yeah, I would have liked to have had Bill inside with me last night, but then he, it would have been, yeah. He was chill, chill McChillerton. He was chill Dietrich last night. Totally pro. Me, on the other hand. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Bill. The mouth on that girl. Muskrat rumble, candlelight. Do a muskrat rumble and you're doing it right as they shimmy. Muskrats on the highway. I don't know. I can't. I can't do muskrat rumble. Hey, Dave, when are we going to do a Corona Roki again? Because that's what people ask me all the time. So I'm asking you. And if you didn't see the show with Lisa and I the other night, don't worry. It's coming out on Netflix really soon. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for being here tonight. Thanks for listening. <sighs> muskrat love. Muskrat ramble. Ramble on muskrat. Mm -mm. Really, thank you. Um, Friday morning will be Mondo Memories. Friday night, Displaced and Share. But I like to think the engine, the origin story of the Muskrat love song is, do you know it? Muskrat, Muskrat, run real fast. Keep on running or you'll be in a cast. <laughs> I'll send you some other photos. Patty Loman took some cute ones. They're a little blurred. I like the little blur look. Yeah, we were ducked. Yeah, Carhartt, you know? Carhartt and uh, Stetson. Hey, check it out now, kids. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Come on, wait, what are you saying? Don't leave yet. None of you leave, please.
seven of you. Okay, what year were you born, Rich? I know. Rich and I drove to Dead & Company the other night. Well, he drove, I rode. Right? Here's a little, little dance for you. people they do one of two things they go 11 11 with jenna or they go patty loman but it's pretty much 11 my brother what are you doing i'm about to do my show 11 11 with jenna you guys have a beautiful night stay safe stay healthy be real nice loving thoughts loving words and a loving heart and i'm just gonna hug 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 Mm. And I'm going to hug, 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 hug. I got to go jump into an ice bath right now. It's true. Real hard.